Okay, it is time to bring up Miss Marion and her friends. And as she's coming up, she is a world-famous ventriloquist who has traveled all over the globe. She's a wonderful, wonderful ventriloquist. You're going to have a lot of fun. So we'll let you take over. All right. We have about 10 seconds till we start this part of the program. Boys and girls, could you help me to count down from 10? You would? Here we go. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Raise your hand if you're ready to get started. Raise your other hand if you're ready to have some fun. Ooh, excellent. You can bring your hands down and... Keep them to yourselves if you want. I think that might be a good choice. My name is Miss Marion, and I am really glad to be here. Are you glad to be here tonight? Yeah, it's a beautiful night. We're so glad you came on out. Now, just to let you know what it is I do, I am a ventriloquist. Raise your hand if you know what a ventriloquist does. About five of you. Okay, that's good. We can bring, we can help you out with that because we're going to be doing three things tonight. We're going to be listening, we're going to be learning, and we're going to be laughing. So let's get started. Um, what I could do is I could help you all learn what it is a ventriloquist does. Here's what I'll do. I'll give you a sentence and I will leave out just a little word at the end. If you know what that little word is at the end, you just shout it out, fill in the missing word. We're going to help everyone learn. Here goes. A ventriloquist is someone who talks without moving their mouth. You are some smart kids. You are absolutely right. I make puppets talk, but I don't move my lips. I, ooh, I could sing you all a song, okay? And then you could watch my lips very, very carefully. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, oh, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. That's what I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. See, do you know what? He loves us so much. He's given all of you gifts, talents, and abilities that we can use uh, to glorify him, not ourselves. But you know what? We're going to be talking about some of that throughout the evening. I know you've been learning about a lot of things in Upwards. And, um, well, I could teach you how to be a ventriloquist. Would you like to learn? You would? Okay, so you need a couple things. You need some puppets. Do you know you all brought two puppets with you tonight? Okay, smart girl in the front row is going, yep, here are my puppets. You are absolutely right. Your hands are your puppets. Yeah, that's what you can do. You could use your hands as your puppets. That's where you start, right? So here's what you do. You can get creative. Boys and girls, you can look around your house. Okay, you could start with something simple like a glove to build your own puppet. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I have... Um, we have four children, and three of them are girls. And so I just went into their dress-up box, and I found this little glove, and what do you think I thought? Puppet, right? So what you do is you get these great little eyes, and you just build yourself a puppet. <laughs> um, hello, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola, como esta? <laughs> oh, she speaks Spanish. Si, yo hablo español. You speak Spanish? Si. Yes, C means yes. C. Yes. Uh, necesito accesorios. What? Necesito accesorios. Oh, oh, she's saying she needs accessories. C. Yes. <laughs> so I could get her something. C. Yes, so here's what you do. You look around your house. You could start with a little hair thing. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> you could just put this on and... and Estoy bonita. <laughs> She's saying she looks pretty. Sí. Yes. Could you count for us? Sí. Good. Go ahead. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, oh, and ten, oh. <laughs> 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 
That is not how it goes. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to put her back here and let her take a little siesta. Does anyone know what a siesta is? You are absolutely right. No, siesta! <laughs> no, of course a fiesta would be a birthday! No, yes, no, 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 no party. She's going to take a siesta. Siesta! No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to let her take a little nap. But anyway, that's the point. Boys and girls, do you know what? You could use your imaginations. You could. You could just, what, what, what are you doing? I'm looking around. <laughs> yeah, so you can use your imaginations, your what? Your imaginations, your what? Okay, okay, these boys and girls, uh-huh, they have wonderful, uh-huh, creative, uh-huh, minds, uh-huh, they could use them, they could, yeah, yeah, they could get creative, uh-huh, they could give you, they could build a puppet, uh-huh, and do you know what, uh, I could give him things, give me things, give you things like what? Well, I think you could use some hair. <gasps> I'm bald. <laughs> yeah, he's bald, what am I, a knucklehead? Kind of, sort of. So I'm going to get him some hair. Oh, boy. So you look around the house. Uh huh. You start with something simple, like what? Well, you could start with a rubber band. Okay, that looks painful. <laughs> no puppets are going to be harmed during this experiment. Good, good. Now open up and say, ah, uh, no. <laughs> say, ah, uh, no. <laughs> say, ah, uh, please. He's okay. No, I'm not. He's doing okay. No, I'm not. Tell them you're okay. I'm okay. Good, good, good. Now you get the hair. Oh, boy. You look around your house. Uh-huh. On your floor. Yeah. In your closets. Uh-huh. You find something that looks like hair. I thought I'd use a sock. A sock! Don't do this to me, Miss Marion. <laughs> no, turn, no, turn, no, turn, no, no, here, help me out here, boys and girls. She's putting a sock on my head and she's calling it a hair. This is so completely humiliating. These boys and girls are laughing at me. <laughs> no, they think you look great. I look ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, yes, you look great. My hair stinks. <laughs> it's a clean sock, yeah, sure. <laughs> Here's the point, boys and girls. You use your imaginations. You could, you could give your puppet things, give me things, give you things like what? Like a present, like a present. yeah. Yeah, like I could give him a hat. Uh huh. You could get a little piece of paper. You could give your puppet a mustache. Love the stash. Yeah. yeah, you could get another rubber band, get a little scarf. You could give your puppet a skirt. Don't give me a skirt. Okay, okay. The point is, boys and girls, you can build your own puppet. You can design it however you want. In fact, I'm bald again. I know. Why? Well, because it's time for you to go. It is. Yeah, and I've got a lot of friends to bring out. You do? I do. Where am I going to go? Well, you could go into my pocket. No way. But you need to. I don't want to. <laughs> he needs. I don't want to. No, no. He, no, no. Help me. Help me. Help me, boys and girls. I don't want to go. I don't want to. This is so much better. Now we can move on. Now, as I was saying, boys and girls, it's a lot of fun to be a ventriloquist because you get to use your imaginations. <laughs> you get to use your imaginations. I can't see. <laughs> but was that you? No, it was the puppet. It was the puppet? I'll ask him. Excuse me. Was that you? It was You are absolutely right. What, what do you want? I want, I want out. <laughs> You're probably right. I want out. <laughs> you can't get out. So anyway, as I was saying, it's dark. I know. I'm trying to move on with the show. Get me out of here. Okay. Out. 
you can have a lot of fun with puppets and your imaginations. Or have you ever thought about possibly using a person as your puppet? You could. You could use your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your grandpa, your grandma, your best friend, someone you feel comfortable with. You know, your aunt, absolutely. They could be your human puppet. In fact, I'll bet there's someone here today who could be my human puppet. It's this lady right here in the glasses. Would, would you do it? Would you come up? Do you want to bring a helper too? That's great. Do you want to get someone and come on up here? Oh, let's give this lady a hand. We're going to come on up and find out their names. Hello. Come on up here. Somebody can stand here. Hello. Oh, well, you can stand there. That's fine. Hello. What is your name? Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm nine. Nine. Fantastic. Everyone say, hey, Stephanie. Friendly crowd we have here. So Stephanie and Stephanie, you brought your big sister with you, I see. My mom. Oh, your mom. Oh, <laughs> hi. And your name is? Julia. Julia. Everyone say hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. Look at that. We have a friendly crowd. Look at that. They love you. You've got your whole like fan club over here, I see. My cheer squad. Your cheer squad. I see. So here's what you do. You get yourself great helpers like Miss Julia and Miss Stephanie. Here's what we're going to do. Number two, boys and girls, you get your helpers to open their mouth. Not a problem for you, is it? Nor you? I got the right women. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You need to actually know when to open your mouth. So I'm going to place my hand on your shoulder. Oh, perfect. Did you see that? You know that she could catch on very quickly, right? So, but you have to wait for the tap. So you face forward, okay? Here's a tap. Oh, good. Two taps. One, two. Oh, good. Three times. One, two, three. Let's give Miss Julia a hand. Woohoo! She's great. Stephanie, I know you can do just as well as your mom, okay? So the bigger you open mouth, your mouth, the better. So everyone in the back can see too. You, ca you got that, right? All right, let's practice. Ready? Oh, oh, my goodness. Good. Two times. One, two. Great. Three times. One, two, three. Let's give Stephanie a hand. You're wonderful. Now, the third thing you need to do is you need to give your helpers a voice. So, ladies, you're going to have to come a little closer to me because my arms just aren't that long. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to place my hand on your shoulders, and when I give you a tap, no matter what I ask you, don't say anything. You just open your mouth. Okay, so Stephanie, I want you to say, hi, I'm Stephanie. Take it away. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Excellent, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> Real big. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Really big. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Julia, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, really big. Are you having fun? Not anymore. <laughs> hey, uh, Ju uh, Julia? Yeah. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say? Yep. Good. What's that? I want to sing a song. You want to sing a song? Yep. Good. <laughs> Excellent. All by yourself? No. No? Uh-uh. <laughs> you want to sing with someone? Yep. Good. With Stephanie? Yep. Good. Stephanie, are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Stephanie, do you want to start? Yeah. Good. Take it away. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let's give them a hand. You look great. Thank you. Now, oh, hold on one second. You have to put one hand in front, and then you have to put your other hand behind, and you fold yourself in half. You take a bow, but you come right back up again. Fist bump to you. You were awesome. Fist bump. You guys forget. Let's give Stephanie and Julia a hand. See what I mean, boys and girls? You get yourself some great helpers like Stephanie and Julia. You can have a lot of fun. Do you know what we're going to do right now? We are going to take out our imaginary water bottles. Hold them up just like that. Excellent. Next, we're going to open the top. Ready? 
Next, we're going to glug, glug, glug. Let's hear it. Go ahead. That was very good, Glug, and you were very thirsty on this side. That's good. Next, we're going to pop the top back on again. Ready? And close the lid. And now my favorite part. Ah. Wasn't that refreshing? Thanks so much for joining me. All right, so we're going to keep on using our imaginations. Boys and girls, right now, we are going to be traveling south to a warm, tropical climate. Not exactly like, well, media, Middletown. But um, really, we are thinking like blue skies and palm trees. That's what I'm thinking. In fact, that's where my next friend is from. He has, um, <laughs> he's got a sharp beak and he's got sharp claws. So therefore, boys and girls, I need to wear my protective bird handling gloves and my protective bird handling hat. This is very important because, well, I am a careful bird handling <laughs> ventriloquist. So everyone, this is my friend Dudley. Dudley, you. Yeah. Dudley, what? Dudley, what? What are you doing? I'm looking at that hat on your head. You're looking at the hat on my head. Uh -huh. Um, Dudley, you. Yeah. What I'd actually like is for you to say hello to everyone. Why are you still staring? I like it. Thank you. Thank you. I like it myself. Um, Dad, like you. You know, when you meet someone new, boys and girls, it's always important and, and kind and respectful to give them good eye contact, to say hello, nice to meet you. Dad, like you. You're not doing that at all. Why are you still staring at my hat? I think it looks delicious. Oh boy, <laughs> uh, this is a little bit of a problem. You see, we live um, pretty far away, and it took us a little while to get here, and so I didn't get a chance to give Dudley any bird seed yet. <laughs> so Dudley might be just a little, oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. As I was saying, Dudley might be just a little, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I, am so, I am so. I apologize for that interruption. Now, as I was saying, I am sure that somewhere in this area, I can find, oh, dumb it. I got it. Dudley, you. Dudley, look. Dudley, look at me. I am. I'm over here. Okay, up a little bit. Dudley, you. Would you please cut it out with the hat? Wonderful. This is great. Now we can move on. Now, as I was saying, but help me, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Dudley, I would like you to say hello to all the nice boys and girls and their parents and grandparents tonight. I could do that. Well, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a pleasure to meet you all tonight. How are you doing? Did you hear that? They're doing good. They're doing good. <laughs> now, Dudley, ew. do you know what? Ugh. I was just explaining to them how much fun we can have, um, you know, using our imaginations, uh -huh. a lot of planning, uh -huh. organization, uh -huh. has gone into making this a wonderful evening for everyone. Really? Yeah. What do you do? What do I do? What do you do? Well, I am a ventriloquist. You're a what? <laughs> I am a ventriloquist. I can't say it. You can't say the word ventriloquist? No. But I could help you. You could. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? See, see, a lot of these boys and girls, they're in school. Uh-huh. They're listening. Yeah, they're learning. Uh-huh. And when get, they get to a word they don't know, sometimes we can break it down into parts. Really? Yes. You... Follow me. Gotcha. Here we go. Good. 
Venom. Trill. Trill. Oh. Oh. Quist. Quist. Excellent. Thank you. Then ventrilo, trillo, o, o, quist, glist. Then trillo, quist, then trickle, list. <laughs> we'll try this again. Okay, here we go. Good. Then boom, trill, trill, o, o, quist, quist. Good. Thank you. Then ventrilo, trillo, o, o, quist, glist. Then trillo quist, the Noah twist. <clears throat> I am not a vanilla twist. <laughs> but what are you? I'm a ventriloquist. I still can't say it. Why? It's a big word. I understand. It's a big word. I must be in the state of confusion. You're not in the state of confusion. This is the state of Pennsylvania. Can't say that either. But I could help you. Really? Follow me. Gotcha. Here we go. Good. Pen. Boom. Sol. Sol. They. Boom. Nia. Nia. Excellent. Thank you. Pen. Pen. Sol. Sol. They. They. Nia. Nia. Pencil, Pennsylvania, New Pennsylvania, ventriloquist. <laughs> Dad, yeah, listen, I I'm glad that you're here, uh -huh. but it's soon time for you to go. It is, yes, and before I you go, I need to talk to you about something. Let's look. You know when I brought you out? Yeah. And you were looking at my hat? Yeah. Then I took it. Right, right, right. That's what we need to talk about. Why? Be because stealing my hat was funny. Uh, yeah. Um, um, stealing my hat was not a good choice. But I was hungry. Well, Dadley, see, if you just would have been patient, you see, I could probably find some birdseed backstage. You could... Yes. Do you know what? Like, one of the virtues that these boys have been learning about is patience. Patience? Patience. Patience isn't easy. <laughs> no, it's not. But do you know what? Like, Ecclesiastes 7, 8 says that patience is better than pride. Is that true? Do you believe the Bible is true? I do then it is true. But what does it mean? Patience is better than pride. Because when we are prideful, what? we think about ourselves. We think about our own needs and our wants. But when we are patient, we are looking to the needs of others. We're taking our turn. Uh -huh. We're waiting in line. Yeah. We're not always wanting to have what we want right away that moment. We're patient. That's something I could work on. Yeah, it's something we could all work on. And these boys and girls are going to continue to work on patience because being patient shows honor and respect to others as well. It does. It does. Do you know what? I've got a little knock-knock joke for you. Okay, here goes. All right. Knock-knock. Hello. <laughs> um, knock-knock. How you doing? No, actually, I say knock, knock, and you say, come on in. Knock, knock, who's there? What did you say? Who's there? Who's there? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I say knock, knock, and you say, who's, who's there? there? But I can see it's her. <laughs> no, these boys and girls are absolutely right. They are? Yes, listen to them. Okay, here we go. Okay. Knock, knock, who's there? Egg. What do you mean, egg who? It's not an egg, it's her. <laughs> no, you say egg who. Okay, boys and girls, you realize this is completely ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's how it goes, really, yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Egg. Egg who? It's time for you to egg zit. 
Exactly. <laughs> hey, how about if you keep working on patience? That would be an excellent idea. I got a million of them. Oh, thank you. They're clapping for me. I like these people so much. Ah, oh, thank you, Dudley. Boys and girls, I've got another friend to introduce to you. His name is Joey. <laughs> Joey used to play for Upwards years ago <laughs> when the color was green. Well, hey there, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Everyone, this is my friend Joey. Joey, yeah. how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you all doing? Good. You know, tomorrow is, is uh, what, March 17th. Thought it was good to wear the green. <laughs> you got your upwards shirt on, I do, yeah. And Joey, yeah. Listen, I was thinking that you could help me tell a Bible story. A Bible story? Yeah, a Bible story. I don't want to tell any Bible stories. Well, I had a Bible story in mind. You did? I did. It's a story. It's found in the Old Testament, uh -huh, in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17. It's the story of David and Goliath. I don't want to tell that story. Um, actually, it's... Story. It is a really good story. You sure? I'm sure. Well, can I be David? What can I be David? You want to be David? Yeah, I want to be David. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. David was a young boy. True, David was a young boy. He was brave. He was handsome. He was true. He, did I mention he was good looking? Yes, yes, but David was... I can do that. <laughs> um, yes, yes, but David was also humble, just like me. Can I be David? Okay, Joey, you can be David. Good. Now, boys and girls, uh, the story of David and Goliath takes place a long, long, long time ago. You see, David was a shepherd boy. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Sound effects. <laughs> Thank you, Joey, but we don't need any sound effects. So, boys and girls, the story of David um, and Goliath takes place a long time ago. David was a shepherd boy. He's out watching his father's sheep. <laughs> Joey, yeah, I need you to be a good listener. Uh -huh. I need you to not do that. All right. Okay, so be good. All right, here we go. David was out watching his father's sheep. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Okay, okay. Really work on that. Okay, okay. So now listen. David's father is out watching. David, David is out watching his father's sheep. And one day, David's father comes out to him that I don't see him coming. What, why didn't you see your father coming? Because I was too busy looking at the girls. <laughs> Joey, that is come to Joey. Would you, Joey? Jo Joey. Joey, you need to be appropriate. I'm so sorry. Okay, now be good. All right. Now, David is out watching his father's sheep. His father comes out to him because his brothers are fighting in a war, and David has to take them some food. So I stop at the McDonald's. Uh, no, there wouldn't be any McDonald's. Burger King. There were no Burger Kings. Wendy's. Uh, no, David gets out to where the war is going on, and guess what he sees? A Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah. David has to go out to where the war is going on, so he gets on his motorcycle. Now, this took place a long, long time ago. David didn't have a motorcycle. Yes, he did. No, he did. Yes, he did. David did not have a motorcycle. The Bible says so. Really? Yeah. Where does it say that David had a motorcycle? It says David's triumph was heard all over the land. One guy in the side got that. Thank you. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> David didn't have a motorcycle. He had a bicycle. He wouldn't have had a bicycle either. Well, how'd he get anywhere? How do you think David got anywhere? You are absolutely right. He walked, he walked, he walked. How far? 
Remember, David was a shepherd boy. He didn't think much of walking maybe 20 to 25 miles to get where he needed to go. I don't think much of walking 20 to 25 miles to get where I need to go either. <laughs> but he's a shepherd boy. That's what he did. So he goes out to where the war is going on, and he sees a hill, a hill, a hill. Uh -huh. And their soldiers camp there. Yeah. yeah, they're the Israelites, the good guys. Yeah, and on the other side, there's another hill, uh-huh, and there's tents, uh-huh, and their soldiers camp there, uh-huh, and they are the Philistines, the bad guys, yeah, yeah, and in between, there's a valley, boys and girls, out steps a huge, ugly giant of a man, do you know what his name was, Shrek, what was his name? Goliath, 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 and he's big. How big? The Bible says he was over nine feet tall. That's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, it says that his, his coat of armor uh, weighed over 250 pounds. That's a lot. Yeah, he's a big guy. And boys and girls, every day, he came out and he yelled at those soldiers. What did he say? Ho, ho, ho on the jolly green Philistine. No, no, he didn't say that. What did he say? Fee, fi, fo, fight. I smell the blood of an Israelite. No, you're no No, he did not say any of that. But everyone was scared of him. Why? Because he was a big guy. They were chicken. <laughs> no. They were very, very, very scared of him. They were an army full of chickens. Nobody, nobody wanted to fight Goliath. He was such a big bully. In fact, one day David come out. Why did he say to David? David came out and he said, what am I, a dog that you come at me with sticks? He called David Twiggy. <laughs> David could not believe that Goliath would defy the armies of the living God. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but David left for just a little bit and now I'm going to run all the way home. Actually, David did not run all the way home. No, 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 no. He, he actually went to King Saul's tent. King Saul, King Saul, who's he? He's the king. Why didn't he fight Goliath? Well, um, King Saul probably didn't fight Goliath because, well, he might have been scared too. He was a chicken king with an army full of chickens. <laughs> so, now... So now, David now leaves King Saul's tent, and now I am going to run all the way home. But he didn't run all the way home. What did he do? He stopped at a stream to get a drink. No, he stopped at a stream to take a bath. No, he stopped at a stream to go for a swim. Wait a second, what's your name? Okay, hello? Okay, hold on one second. Okay, hello here is telling me that David stopped at the stream to get five small stones. Is that true? That is absolutely true. That's right. So, wait a second. Don't tell me that I'm going to have to throw some small stones at a big old giant. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to throw the stones at the giant. Good, because you have a sling. Oh, great. First, a Kalo here has me throwing some small stones at a giant. Now, this lady's got my arm in a sling. <laughs> your, your arm isn't in a sling. My leg's in a sling? <laughs> no. Joey, your sling is your weapon. My what? Your weapon. What does it look like? Well, a slingshot, you probably know what a slingshot would look like, boys and girls, right? It would be like a piece of leather, yep, and it would have strings on either side, and he would put the stone in the sling, and he started running up the hill right towards Goliath. Boys and girls, he swung that sling around and 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 hurry up, get dizzy. <laughs> he let that stone fly right towards Goliath. Boys and girls, that stone went right underneath Goliath's helmet. It actually went right into his, his skull. I'll bet nothing like that ever entered that giant's mind before. <laughs> Probably not. So the giant went down. Woo! 
What, what are you doing? Little sound effects. Woo! <laughs> Why are you still doing it? Well, he's a big guy. This is going to take a while. Woo! So, <laughs> so Goliath is down. Uh huh. David has killed the giant. Woohoo! There's dancing, there's celebrating in the streets. Woohoo! Go, David. There is a lesson that we can learn from this Old Testament story that we can apply to our lives today. Really? Yeah. Like, that giant should look out for little kids like us because I am telling you, we are tough. You're tiny. No. Nope. That is not the lesson I was looking for. Okay, the lesson for Goliath is he should have ducked. No, no. That is not the lesson either. Well, then I don't know. Joey, the lesson is that David was not out there on his own. Well, sure he was. You told me he was. He had a chicken king with an army full of chickens. Joey, yeah. David was not out there on his own because God was with him. He was. He was. All those other soldiers looked at that big old Goliath and they said, whew, he's too big to hit. But David, with God on his side, he looked at that big old Goliath and he said, whew, he's too big to miss. Gotcha. Do you know what? See, we're all going to face giants. Oh, no. I'm not going to fight any giants. I am scared of giants. I don't have enough courage to fight any giants. But actually, Jelly, that's another one of the virtues that these boys and girls talked about. Fighting giants? No, no, no. The virtue is being courageous, having courage. Really? Yeah. In fact, David wrote a lot of the Psalms. And one Psalm that he did write was Psalm 56.3. What does it say? It says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. That sounds like a song. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. That's right. Do you know what? We can't fight our giants alone. I don't want to. No, we don't have to. Boys and girls, no matter what giants you face, ladies and gentlemen, all of us are fighting giants. We all know that. But you know what? Look, God loves us so much. He says, do you know what? I can take you by the hand and I can lead you through. Really? Yeah. We can trust in him that he will not, not let us fall. No, he won't because he loves us so much. Do you know what? Look, these boys and girls are learning all about how to be courageous when we are afraid we can trust in him. That's right. So I need you to say goodbye. Boys and girls, oh, she's taking the up. This is a clue. It means you need to say goodbye to everyone. Hey, boys and girls, it was great talking to you about David and Goliath. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> boys and girls, we've got another friend to bring out. Uh, his name is Chester. Now, Chester boys and girls, is a, uh, well, he's great. You're just going to love him, but he's very forgetful. Sometimes he forgets his name. Uh, would you all work together? Would you help me call for Chester? Chester. You what? It goes like this. Chester, 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 Chester. Chester, yes, I am so glad to see you tonight for the upwards celebration. Dish is awesome. Dish is wonderful. Good. I am so glad to see you. Ish dish when I get to. Oh, look, this lady's going to take my picture. Cheese. I like it. I like it. I like to get my picture taken because then I can say cheese. <laughs> I know, I love all the cheese, I know, like the Swiss and the American and the monster. Yeah, I do not like the, the, the Limburger. The Limburger? No. Why don't you like Limburger cheese? That stuff stinks. I have heard that. Here's what I do not understand. Now, why does the Swiss cheese have all the holes in it when it's the Limburger that needs the ventilation? 
I don't know. I don't know. I bet that Ginny Halala knows. <laughs> She's got it going on upstairs in between the ears. <laughs> Listen, you need to say hello to everyone. It's so good to meet you all tonight. My name. Yeah, we'll say it again. What did you say? You are exactly right. Thank you so much. My name is Charlie. Good to meet you. Thank you. They, they, they did not say Charlie. They said what? You are exactly right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's not, it's, they, did you hear that? Go to shout again. You are awesome. You are the best audience I had all night. Of course, you're the only audience I had all night, but nonetheless, you are so helpful, thank you so much. My name is Chester T. Nash. That's me, Chester T. Nash, I got it right. Good job, go me, go me, go me. <laughs> Could I have my treat now? Your what? My treat. A treat, a treat. I, I don't have a treat, yes she does. No, actually I don't, yes she does. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I would like a cheese-colored balloon. What? A balloon? I don't have a balloon. Sure she does. Where, where would I have a balloon? Your pocket. My pocket, yes. Which one? Your left pants pocket? Check. <laughs> Boys and girls, I am telling you, there is no balloon. It looks like cheese. <laughs> Chester, what would you like me to do? Blow it up. Blow it up, yes. Okay, I will blow it up on one condition. Watch it. You don't look. Oh boy. Now, you turn and look this way. Oh, hey kids, how you doing? No, no, no. Look at the wall. Hey kids, how you doing? <laughs> look at, focus on the wall. Focus on the kids. <laughs> Look that way. Okay. All right. Boys and girls, I need you to help me out. I need you to yell, he peaked. If he peaks while I'm blowing up this balloon, Chester, yes. they're going to be watching. Oh, boy. Here we go. You saw him peeking? Thank you. You saw him again? Yeah. You're sure? Because yeah. I think you're a very honest audience and I trust you. Chester, yes. Are you peeking? Maybe. I believe you. I do. Here we go. <clears throat> Just looking at the chandeliers. <laughs> Chester, yes. Look at the ceiling. <laughs> Chester, yes. You were peeking. Yes, I was. Yes, well, you weren't supposed to. Well, I just want to hold that balloon. Boys and girls, I think that's a great idea. Glad I shot of it. In fact, I've got the perfect place for Chester to hold this balloon. No, 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 dear. This is disgusting. This is unsanitary. This is perfect. This is the perfect place, actually, for Chester to, oh, oh, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Sh oh, shoot. Okay. All right, from the beginning. As what? Oh, oh, Chester, 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 come on. Okay. All right, now, from the very beginning. Oh, Chester, no, Chester, no, Chester, no. No, we cannot do that sort of thing. Missionarian, what? You killed it. <laughs> no, no, Chester, yes, listen, I know you are having fun. I am having fun. And it's always good to have fun, yes. But you know what? Look, we never have fun at other people's expenses. 
What do you mean? It means we treat other people with kindness. Really? Yes. In fact, that's another virtue. These boys and girls learned. It is. Yes, yes, yes. In the New Testament, in the book of Luke, Luke 6, 31 says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's what they call the golden rule. That's exactly right. We treat other people with kindness and respect and do to them the way we would like to have done to us. That's exactly right. We treat others the way we would like to be treated. Yes. And do you know what? Well, it's a very important virtue to keep working on. I will do that. In fact, yes, maybe you could tell me another Bible verse. Yes, here's a good one. Here we go. Yes. Bible verse. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay this is a good one. Here we go. An apple a day keeps the doctor away and show just a piece of cheese. They're saying it's not a Bible verse. They're saying it's not a Bible verse? No, no, no. And they are absolutely correct. It's not a Bible. No, no, no. In fact, the Bible, the Bible does talk about cheese. It does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, remember the story of David and Goliath? Remember when David had to take his brothers some food? Yes. Yes, it says that, that David had to take his brothers some bread and cheese. Right. So the Bible is a book about the cheese. No, actually, the Bible is God's written word to us. It is. Yes, yes, yes. It tells us who he is. Yes. It tells us what he's done. Yes. It tells us how much he loves us. Yes. It tells us how to get to heaven. Well, I know how to get to heaven. Great. Tell us, how do you get to heaven? By being good. <laughs> By being good? Yes, you just keep doing all the good stuff, and then you just like go right to heaven. Well, um, it is important to make good choices, you know, to, to be kind and to show courage, and, and, and uh, it's very important. But you know what? Well, how do you ever know when you've done enough good stuff? I don't know. Why? Right, right. So, so, so I need you to think again. That's, that's not going to get you to heaven. Then I know. How do you get to heaven? Well, it's like coming to church. That's right. You come here, you get involved in the upwards, and you show up on every Sunday, you get perfect attendance, and then whoop, you go right to heaven. Well, coming to church is important. Yes. Yes, because we get to learn about God. We get to sing praise and worship and pray and, and learn and fellowship with other believers. Very important. But that's not going to get you to heaven. Well, then I certainly do not know how do you get to heaven. This girl right here, you have your hand raised. What do you think? You, you, and this girl said you believe in Jesus. Is that true? It's like the ABCs. It is? Yeah, what's the A? The A means that we admit. Admit what? We admit that we are sinners. Well, look at these people. They look pretty good to me. <laughs> well, sure. They do look nice to me, too. But you know what? Look, God knows our heart. And the Bible tells us that we have all sinned. We have all fallen short of the glory of the kingdom of God. Well, if we all sin, then how is there any hope? That's where the B comes in. The B, the B, what does it stand for? It stands for believe, just like this young lady said. The Bible says if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, B, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. Hold on one second. What? Why did he have to die? God loved us so much that there was no person here on earth, no human being who could ever be good enough to die for all of our sins. So God sent his son Jesus to come to this earth and die on the cross to bear all of our sins. And do you know what? Is he still dead? 
He's not still dead. In fact, three days later, he arose again. He did, he did. That's why we celebrate Easter. In just a few weeks, we're going to be celebrating Easter, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Where is she now? He's in heaven preparing a place for us. It is his desire that we would all choose to spend our eternity with him. So, so, so how do we do that? We do that by sea, calling upon his name, saying, God, forgive me of my sins, and he will do it. He will do it. Lord Jesus loves us so much. He, they will for, he will forgive us of our sins, and then what? And then we know that he, that's exactly right. He is in our heart. So that's another part of the sea. We commit our lives to him, loving him with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. Really? Yes. And then we share the good news. We share that joy with others. That's right, because it is the good news. It is the good news. It's the good news of salvation, of knowing that when we die, that we will spend an eternity in heaven. That's the good news. That is the good news. These boys and girls come to Upwards. They come to church. They learn more about that. Yes. And do you know what? Well, I hope that you all make that choice because do you know what? It is the most important choice that we can ever make in our entire lives. Indeed. Indeed. In fact, do you know what? Well, in, you need to say goodbye to everyone right now, please. Goodbye to everyone right now. Cheese. No, please. Please, Miss Jenny, get me some cheese. <laughs> Maybe you could be patient. Good idea. <laughs> Just say goodbye. Alrighty. Goodbye, boys and girls, ladies and Oh, they are clapping because they are such quick learners. Oh, thank you. Thunderous applause. I love it. Uh, now, I said in the beginning how we all have gifts and talents and abilities. And do you know what, boys and girls? If you move down onto the floor, you're going to be able to see this last part a whole lot better. If you just sit like right down here, that would be fantastic because I want you to be able to see. Now, I've got a question for you. How many of you like sports? I like that Eagles shirt. Nice. Uh, how many of you like music? Fantastic. How many of you like art? Ooh. Fantastic. You may put your hands down. I'm going to need a little bit of help. I'm really glad that so many of you said that you like art because we're going to work together. That's fantastic. We are going to work together, boys and girls. We are going to draw a picture. Now, I'm not really good at drawing, but I'm going to need your help, and we're all going to work together. Here's what's going to happen. Now, let's see. We had Julia... And we had Miss Stephanie up here, and they were fantastic. But I think it would be fun if we drew a picture of a boy. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so we'll draw a picture of a boy. Um, here's what I'll do. A nice big circle for his head there. All right, circles for his eyes. All right. Okay, tell me, what else does he need? A mouth and a nose. That's good. Okay, so nose and a mouth. Okay, hair. Okay, what else does he need? Ears and hair. Okay, I can do that. Do you want the, do you want the hair in his ears? Because I can do that. I know people. Yes, all right, yeah, we can do the hair in his ears. Okay, yeah. And where else do you want the hair? Where? On his head? Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. So we're going to give him hair up here. What else does he need? Pupils. Pupils. Great vocabulary. All right. So, yeah. So we're going to give him like the little eye thing, right? What are those? What are these? Good. What are these? Lashes. Good job. Excellent. And then this young lady said the eyeballs. That's good. Does, what do you think? I can't do that real well, but, but I could give him a neck and shoulders. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Give him a neck and shoulders. That's good. And I think he needs a shirt. Yeah, okay, we'll give him a shirt. That's pretty good. Maybe, maybe a little, little chin there, maybe freckles. Hey, do you know what? Boys and girls, here's the awesome thing. You all worked together. And it's so awesome when you work together like that. What's wrong? His what? 
he's moving his eyes? I don't think so. Okay, as I was saying, working to the, why, why are you shouting? What? When I'm not looking, they're moving. Like now, are they moving? Sometimes. Because, oh, did I move like that or something? Is that what happened? I, I th- oh, are you guys playing a joke on me? That's really funny. His eyes are moving. Oh. You are an honest group of boys and girls. I want to thank you so much for telling me this. Oh, oh, oh. follow the moving marker. Oh, cool. Oh, let's speed it up. Ready? Do, 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 do. <laughs> let's slow it down just for fun. Here we go. Ready? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Boys and girls, this begs the question. Um, buddy, are you, um, are, are you for real? Right on! <laughs> and your name is? No, name is Mark. <laughs> of course it's Mark. I drew him with a marker. Huh. Thank you, three parents who laughed at that really corny joke. It's going to go downhill quickly. I'm just warning you. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing real good. <laughs> Could you get me some glasses? Some glasses? Yup, gotta see. Oh, I'm so sorry there, Mark. There you go. How's that? Yep, now I can see this good looking group. Indeed, they are a wonderful looking group tonight. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Now, Mark, yeah, listen, we had a lot of fun. Yes, we did. I mean, we started off, we had Miss Julia, we had Stephanie. They were amazing. They did a great job. We talked about how we could use our imaginations. That's that's right. Yeah, yeah. And then we talked about the three virtues that these boys and girls are working on. Uh, about We talked about being patient. We talked about being kind. And we talked about having courage. That's right. We saw how David had courage to fight his giant. That's right. And how God can do an extraordinary thing with an ordinary kid like David. But yet, do you know what? Ugh. We also talked about how much God loves us. John 3.16 says what? says, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever be believes in him shall not perish, but will have eternal life. We talked about the good news. That's right. Yeah. And you know what? What? These boys and girls are going to go soon, and they're going to share uh, and give to others. And part of sharing, sharing just the joy that he gives us, we're going to be sharing with others very soon. They're going to be learning more about that soon. From Miss Ginny, what are you doing with that? Well, these boys and girls are very smart. They're going to tell you what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? You are exactly correct. No, 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 no. I don't want to go. <laughs> you need to. I don't want to. Yeah, I just got here. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. Boys and girls, I'll just begin by erasing his eyes. Hey, who turned out the lights? That would be me. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to erase your nose. Oh, now you got my nose. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm erasing your ears. Huh? I'm erasing your ears. What? <laughs> I'm erasing your ears. I can't hear you. That's right. That's right. Next, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to erase up here. Oh, boy. Mark, yeah. Mark, now what's wrong? Now I'm an airhead. <laughs> no, really, I'm open-minded. <laughs> Check, cut that out. Now let's just go ahead and let's erase. Now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye, Mark. No! <laughs> I don't want to go. I told you that. I know, but it's time to. I don't want to. Yes, no, yes, no. We're going to work together once again, okay? I'll count to three, and I need all of you to say goodbye, Mark. Don't do it. (laughs) Oh, no, no, no. They're on my side. No, they're not. (laughs) Yes, they are, because they're making good choices. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. No! Give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much for working together. 
That was wonderful. Boys and girls, you have been a wonderful audience tonight. Thank you so much. We're going to turn it over to Miss Jenny, and uh, it's just been a wonderful time sharing with them. Miss Jenny, I'm, Jenny, I'm just going to turn it back over to you. We're going to say thank you so much. Would you like them to stay here, or you will direct them where you would like them to go, I'm sure? That's wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you.